Hey guys, I'm Brandi Chang for Red Carpet Report. We're here at the AFI Fest celebrating the premiere of The Last Emperor in 3D and talking to other filmmakers. All right, who wants to start? I got quite, quite a group here. <laughs> All right. One of those people is happy to talk to you. All right, so tell me a little bit about your guys' film. Who's going to be the spokesperson? Uh, sure. Uh, our film is a reenactment of six aviation emergencies from cockpit voice recorder transcripts based on a play from 1999. Yeah. It's 3D. It's a 3D film as well. It's 3D. So do you guys all get to wear your 3D glasses? Do you have your own specific 3D glasses or do you guys have to like wear the same ones that everybody has everybody else is wearing? We've seen the film in every 3D technology, real 3D, Dolby 3D and 3D TV, and they all use different kinds of glasses, but the film works in 3D in any of them. So for me personally, and I know I'm not the only person out there that watches films in 3D and gets a little bit like a little queasy, is it is it something that you have to see in 3D? Two things about that, I think. The first of all is that most of the 3D that people see that makes them nauseous is the special effect of something coming through the screen at you uh, and how that breaks the plane of convergence and makes you nauseous. And in special effects, that's done a lot. The kind of 3D used in the filmmaking of Charlie Victor Romeo is very gentle, almost like looking in a window at people in front of you. So it's, not, it's actually not the kind of 3D that does that weird thing to your optic nerve and your brain that makes you kind of sick. So it's, it's, it's different than that. But yes, the film works just as well in, in 2D. It's just enhanced uh, experience in 3D. Well, then maybe I'll give it a try in 3D. Right hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll uh, you know, be all right on my eyes. All right, and then have a, <laughs> thank you. And then you guys as well, you guys are, what brings you out here today? I'm sorry, say that again. What brings you out here today? <laughs> well, we're celebrating our film. We're so excited. It's, yeah. This is the West Coast premiere of Charlie Victor Romeo. We've had a really wonderful festival run, and we're just having a blast here. It's yeah. been amazing. Do you guys have a favorite moment while you were making this film? Favorite mm. moment making the film? Uh, you know, it, it's a, it was a play before, and we I, I started the play in 2004, and Debbie's been in it since then, and Nora came in in 2005, so... We've had a lot of favorite moments over the time, so. So it was the same. Yeah. <laughs> we actually filmed it in front of a live audience over three days. So we were performing um, like we usually do when it's a play, but it was being filmed. Yeah. Um, so it was a pretty amazing experience, for sure. What is the difference, I guess, when you're performing live in front of an audience and you're, you're filming for a movie and then compared to actually just performing in front of the audience? Got to be really good at uh, remembering your lines. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, one thing about this this piece is that um, the immediacy uh, of being in the moment is just so ever present because you know it's life and death. So even when you're just doing scenes out of context, as soon as you hear the roar of the engines and the alarms going off, you're just transported into that that space. So it really doesn't matter whether an audience is there or not. All right, yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit like, and for more videos, subscribe. And leave me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite movie in 3D. I think mine's Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs>